Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vidime Orbi. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. All right, so today we are doing the downsides to interracial relationships. Mm -hmm. Can you share an awkward experience you've had as a black woman being married to a white guy? You know, when you were reading that question, like something popped into my mind. And maybe I am ready to talk about it a little bit. I'm not going to give names or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be very general. Okay. Because <laughs> Jory and I were preparing to get married. Um, someone had mentioned that we go. <laughs> Let me put it this way. It's hard being a, in in a interracial relationship. It's difficult because relationship is already like kind of hard work. Mm -hmm. So now we couple that with um mixture of cultures um mm -hmm. coming together now it's like oh it's an african right not only is it american. just a different skin color or right different american social economic not right. even economic but social difference right now it's also from a, a different nation N nation yeah. again i was my ears and my eyes were not open at all mm -hmm. to racism because yeah. again i've always said it that's not how i was raised so mm -hmm. i wasn't in any given situation i wasn't going it was because i'm black right that's not who we were right. but now sitting back i think about it and my heart broke because it's someone i really loved anyway they just kind of said well you know before you guys get married you should probably think about taking an aids test yeah yeah knowing that i've been i've saved myself for marriage and jory has saved himself mm -hmm. for marriage so what is the point of that test right. <clears throat> the excuse was like well you know we think it's a good idea we had friends who you know didn't take the test and then they got together and someone actually had issues and i'm like yeah but i know i haven't been you know <laughs> how do you contract it yeah none of also had someone asked me if I had papers and I said well yeah so yeah to answer your question those were two mm, experiences extremely awkward yeah that were painfully one about papers was painful at the moment the one about the age it didn't click to me till later yeah. till later because I'm like I think we also spoke with another couple had had like spoken with these people as well mm-hmm and they hadn't told them to get the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Well, if this was dear to your heart that all the couples you talk to should do this, how come these other couples weren't told to do that? Yeah. <laughs> so there you oh. have it. <laughs> so. That's, those were very awkward. Right. Um, and I think it's just, I'm at a place of like accepting how people treat me. There is a sense of happiness and peace when you know where people stand mm -hmm. like you don't have to wonder you're right. you're not in turmoil right. within yourself because you you finally get it that even it's if it's not, negative right at least you know it's not you like there's yeah. nothing wrong that you're doing mm -hmm. your very existence like pains these people and <laughs> you can't there's nothing you can do about it right. you, you, you know when god was creating me I, I didn't go oh yeah give me black skin because you know that's just what i want I didn't get to choose that. Right. So um, God saw a fit to make me this way, and I'm very proud, mm -hmm. and I'm extremely comfortable. I'm not gonna like try and hit anybody, yeah. but, um, but why? Like, why should you have to? You know what I mean? Like, why should you be mistreated to the point that that has to happen? You know, it's very disappointing. It is, but I think bullies, because I feel like that's well, what that's they what it are. Is. Yeah is a bully will continue going until you let them know i see you i know right. your game right. and you go one more time with bullies you don't even have to like knock them out you just no. have to stand up to them right you just need to just let the them fact know that you won't lay down i know what you're doing most Justin. bullies are are cowardice yeah draped in a facade of toughness so, yeah. yeah and so i think it's sad um that it's come to that I just need to, I just wanted them to know that I will speak up now. 
Yeah. Like, and mm-hmm. I might say something you might not like, but mm-hmm. it will always be factual. Right. Like, I'm not going to say it in a mean way, but it'll be more a matter of fact. Which so, is yeah. fair. Yeah. It's fair. So, we've covered that this area is, is filled with covert racism in areas. Mm-hmm. And so, what? how does living in a passively racist community affect raising mixed children? Or have you noticed anything? I don't, I don't think I've noticed anything from like, Mm -hmm. I don't know, the public. Okay. Like in this area. Um, Obviously the stereotype of kids, you know, our kids are beautiful children. Mm -hmm. Um, But I have yet to find, um, aside from people we just know are not kind to them. Yeah. um, I have to yet find someone who is like just outwardly right. being so unkind. And part of that is probably due to the fact that we homeschool. And yeah. so a, lo- a lot of our interaction is mm-hmm. with them is at home. Yeah. And then, you know, we go to church, but at church you're not allowed to be that way, right? So you would be putting on a front if you are that way. I think, I don't know. I think the church folks for the most part are good. Like I don't... I mean, yeah, most, most of the folks we interact with at church are very genuine people, very yeah. nice. But yeah. I'm saying if there was one there, he sure wouldn't show oh, at church. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know what, though? Speaking of church, there was this this white guy. He was, you know, um, motorcycle, Harley, like, um, Trump, and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I was like, good God, let there not be anything <laughs> <laughs> that just comes out of his mouth that is... I had to get a hold of myself because even his <laughs> presence like annoyed me because of flamb- the flamboyant like attitude yeah. of, of it all. Yeah. God came to pray for me. I was like, oh Lord, what is he going to say? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was something after the fact that I had to talk to God about because I felt power in his prayer. So that reminded me of like Vietnamese. <laughs> There are people who struggle with this aspect of, mm-hmm. you know, racial tension and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not what I want for them, but they don't cease to be God's children. Right. Um, and so that kind of humbled me a little bit. Right. Um, and when we actually happened to run into him to, in the store mm-hmm. one day, he was so kind. And like, you know, that's your political views. And I, I'm glad he didn't bring it to me because I, I didn't disrespect him. Right. Like, you know, um, so that was just like an eye opener. Like, go back, go back, go back yeah, to yeah. seeing people for who they are. Yeah. Yeah. Now, would it have been easier for you to marry a black guy? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's tough to answer that question because you, at a fork in the road, you chose this way. How can you know what that way looked like? I just chose you. Mm-hmm. Th- that's all there is to it. You were over really... whom? What do you mean over whom? Who, who, who was the other choice? There wasn't any choice. You proposed. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Is that a trick question? But um, yeah, like I said, yes, you because you were a kind person. Yeah. Not because you were white. And then later you're like, oh, snap, what have I done? (laughs) I love you. Yeah, I know you do. (laughs) I love you too. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I didn't... I don't know. I don't know how to answer that that one. Sorry, maybe that's not a good one. Okay. All right, this is my last question. You think we're ready to wrap this up? I think so. If there's one thing you could tell white folks living in this community, what would it be? Wow. Um, lead with your heart. Don't don't lead with what you think you know. Mm-hmm. And your heart mean not meaning like your feelings, especially again since this area is Christian. Right. Le- lead with Christ. Yeah. Because no matter how people looked, Christ was kind to them. Right. That's love. Kindness is part of loving someone. Mm-hmm. Being rude is not love. Love right. is not rude. Right. Like I think it clearly says that. In yeah. The yeah. Quite frankly, I think it messes with their witness. Yeah. If you wanted to win me to Christ, and I was black and I was un- 
unbeliever, mm -hmm. I wouldn't listen to you. I right. would say, I would say, what kind of God is that? Right. So it messes with your witness. So lead with your heart. That's yeah. what I would say. That's good, honey. That's yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. And I think I, you know, it's rare, but we've had it. Like even the other day, we had a lady at the store that saw our family and just recognized oh, yeah. the the beauty of our family. Yeah. And it's like I think if people didn't see the difference they would most people would look at our family and go wow that's a really lovely family like just physically you know happy and you know smiling and the kids are very very good looking children um well behaved they uh, are yeah they, we are they are very well public. behaved and and so this this was a white lady and evidently she wasn't looking at color because she just said you guys have a very beautiful family it was interesting because it happened after that other lady had said something about my feet in my hand <laughs> so I started getting down, like feeling like, what is it with people? Right. Like, what what is it that is just so unpleasant right. about me? Right. Um. So as I'm walking through the store, and I'm just like, how? What? Who? Huh? It's difficult to understand why people can't just see the inherent value in people and the beauty of people for who they are, that they're somehow clouded by something. And that's disappointing. Those moments <clears throat> I take in like God's winking at me. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that one time we were eating at someone's house and they were kind of, I had posed a question like what's appropriate at the table. Oh, okay. Um, we were eating some like a messy, messy food or okay. whatever. Okay. <clears throat> and I was going to take Jabin's shirt off. So it wouldn't get ruined. So it wouldn't yeah. get ruined. But yeah, I asked. Was what? Really Two? young. He was so young and he was a messy eater. Yeah. Just to be polite, what is the, you know, like, well, I didn't do that. And I'm just like, all right, no problem. So I left my son's shirt on because, again, I'm a respectful person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then this girl comes over and she was invited too and she had a daughter. Had a daughter. <laughs> Didn't even ask and just ripped the daughter's shirt off. Yeah. And Jordan and I looked at each other and we were laughing <laughs> because it's like you refuse to be kind to someone who is trying their best to be polite to you. And then there's this person who just doesn't care. You don't confront them. Right. Like you don't say anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's moments like that or, or others, you know, where yeah. it's just like, you know, God's, God's got a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> so you may not always be loved by everyone around you. Yeah. And the hate hurts. Yeah. Especially when it comes from people that you're close enough for the pain to hurt. Yeah. Um, Whether it be friends. But you don't, I mean, you don't react with that to them and you, you know, you continue showing love. Yeah. And that's the only thing you can do. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you're accountable for the way you act, mm -hmm. even to those people. And right. so only the love of God will win in the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. um, God wins. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. This was a very, like, serious and <laughs> tense topic. Mm -hmm. But um, we were like, we haven't done an interracial thing in a while. And it doesn't mean we don't face certain things. It's just like we don't like to talk about it We much. don't want to always focus on negative. Yeah. To encourage someone, you know, be ready to love regardless of how you're treated. Yes. You have to be willing literally to turn the other cheek, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying be a doormat <laughs> no. because that's what I was. Be able to say something back because especially to another believer, you have that right. Mm -hmm. um, in the Lord yeah. so yeah if you if you confront something in love that's there mm -hmm. then it's up to them whether they'll grow from that or mm -hmm. just deny it mm -hmm. and so at least you're as believers you're trying to move ahead and grow in the fruit of the Spirit yeah so. thank you for um, asking the question you're welcome I hope they weren't too difficult some of them were <laughs> I didn't know how to answer <laughs> but they were good. Okay. Gives them an idea of what we discuss mm -hmm. sometime when things kind of are in your mind and yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes I don't say <laughs> things, but yeah, I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy it as mm -hmm. well. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.